Hi everyone, thank you for watching my previous video, which is I got scammed by GD Infinity Internet Cyber Cafe. So here is their official store, which is Infinity Ipoh Cyber Cafe. This store is not associated at all with this scammer. So they say this is not us, fake. So they also have uh, someone that almost bought their PC, which is almost got scammed, same case as mine. So they are also saying that they are not uh, selling PC, they are cyber cafe. They repeat, they are cyber cafe not selling PC. So I also contacted them if they can do anything to help me. So I told them, I asked them if this shop is associated, then their address, because in the previous uh, conversation with the scammer, they even put the exact address of Infinity Ipoh Cyber Cafe, which is Jalan Medan Ipoh 2. So I say I will certainly suggest that this issue brought up to police. Some of us really cannot scam. Mine is around 1,700 ringgit. So they only show me this picture, which means that they can't do anything to help me, I think. Yeah. So I also found that someone have the same case as mine, which is being scammed by this GD Infinity Internet Cyber Cafe. So they say like, don't, don't talk about PT. I'm here to just share that no matter how advanced you are in IT, you may still fall for scam. Yeah, same case as mine. Paid 200 ringgit for a chair on Friday 18 December to a guy. Jonathan Lee Sien Kuang, CIMB Bank. So guys, uh, this is his conversation that he screenshotted and put in the Facebook page. So system still not record, then whatever, then yeah, finally being blocked, same case as mine. So here it goes. Then they say reserve Cyber Red Cafe and then send to this account payment. Uh, and then payment done, today pack sent out, yeah, then they say wait, and then receive, then post, will update you, same case as mine, like exactly. So the victim asked if the chair will be delivered tomorrow, and then yeah, he said you deliver today, tracking code, uh, tomorrow I will call admin update boss, wow, this same word as mine as well. So the victim also asked again if the product has been shipped, then wow, he even give this GDEX number shipping seems so legit ah. Then the victim is quite smart. He checked for this uh account uh, tracking number and nothing, no record. Tunggu update. Okay. Then system still not record, then chat again, nothing, system doesn't have, and then wow, no reply at all already oh. Then, wah, sekarang not responsive scam eh. Then you see, block. Yes, basically that's what happened. Guys, check this out. This is also same case but the different page, CC Life. Same thing, business closed down, selling cyber computer. Yeah, quite cool ah. But lah, luckily everyone say like scammer, scam, whatever, then... Luckily lah, they uh they told everyone not to buy from this scammer. If not, they will lose their money. Okay, so uh, almost same. Yeah, I think almost same set that sold, which different price only. Wow, second hand jewel you need eighty percent new. Hmm. Also guys, I just want to let you know that I found this Facebook which he told us that uh, this account is a scam. So Chan Chun Kit and then this Su Yok Chong which is the one that scammed me and other people as well. So beware of this, okay? And then this is uh, same Su Yok Chong. Wow, look at this. Asim Matlukman uh, Semakan. This is his uh, account number and ada satu report police Jurian eh, Jarian dibuat seven kali, tujuh kali. So, Kerajaan Malaysia and PDRM tidak bertanggungjawab di atas kehilangan atau kerusakan disebabkan penggunaan mana-mana maklumat yang diperolehi dari kemudahan ini. 
So I assume that police can't help us, I guess. So let me tell you also that I asked my friend to help me to go to report to police this uh, afternoon. So Malaysia police officer told us that um, they cannot help us for this case since I'm not in Malaysia, I'm in Indonesia. So they need my signature, right? So um, they asked my friend to inform me that I need to do the police report from Indonesia. Um, the thing about this is I'm not sure how police can help. If you guys have any idea how I can solve this issue, how we can catch these uh, scammers so that they won't scam other people, let me know, okay, in the comment. Thank you.